All right, guys, welcome back. This is Robots with part four of our tutorial beginner's guide for RimWorld. On this one, we're going to talk about farming and mining. I'm gonna double it up because mining's pretty quick. Let's start with that. Mining means cutting into the rock. And you'll notice when you hover over things, you can see on the very bottom left down here what it is you're hovering over. So this is sandstone. And then down here you have compacted steel. You'll notice throughout the map, there's other places too with other items. This is a steel wall. Hmm, well that's interesting, right? This is compacted steel over here. You want to get as much of the steel as you can, but there's also going to be other items that are really good to find, like gold, um, silver. Uh, over here we have compacted steel again. Uh, machinery, which might be useful. Um, machinery, more compacted steel. So, uh, yeah, so one of the other things that mining is good for, and here we're, we're going to go ahead and create a, uh, an order to mine into this building, because what we're going to, this building, into this mountain, because what we're going to do is use this as some of our rooms and some of our storage space. So we're just going to go ahead and set this up. We're going to, in fact, we want all this compacted steel. So let's just clear that out, and we're going to let our little guys come over here and start working. What I'm going to do is make this a, uh, a safe area for some of our some of our items. I mean, we, we do have some buildings over here. Buildings, this is a wood building. That's not the safest for fire. But if we want to store anything that's particularly a value or have a, pl a safe place to kind of hole out, this is going to be a good place to be. So we'll make a main hallway that kind of goes through and then uh, widens out a little bit. And um, there's not a whole lot of room in this mountain, but they like their space. You need to make sure that they have plenty of space. Now, while they're doing that, we're going to create some growing zones. Now, these are very important. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create several different zones because we want at least a variety of crops for them to eat, three different crops for them to eat. And then there's two other crops that we want to make sure end up on the list. So we want this to be fairly, fairly large. They should move those rocks. We'll make another one that's about the same size and another one that's about the same size. And then we're going to, and notice if we hover over this, um, check this out. If we hover over the soil here, this is rich soil. This darker soil is rich soil. This is just regular soil. So that's a good place to grow crops. So we're doing the uh, grow crops thing. Now we also want to make sure that we put down two other areas for some other items and I'll just put them here for now and notice when we click on these zones um, we can choose what kind of plant grows in this in this in this zone so let's go with a potato and we're gonna do um, uh, corn and then maybe there's a vegetable we want. So uh, strawberries. Yeah, we'll do strawberries. Potatoes, corn, and strawberries. That makes some good food. And then we're going to make sure that we have um, a way to heal everybody and get some heal root. So none of our growers have the skill to do heal root yet, but they will because they're going to plant and harvest and plant and harvest. And eventually they'll be able to do that. So we'll reserve that for that. And then we also want cotton for clothing. So cotton's right here. Those are the ones we want to start out with. So we've got them, we've got them working on the, the mining. We've got, uh, who did we set up to be our, our uh, plant person? So that's Villigus. Yep, Villigus has already started down here with that. And they're starting over here with this, with the mining. And just like before, they're taking everything, putting it over in our storage area, which is now walled off and, and roofed off, so the items in here won't spoil. And basically, you, you let your crops go until they're able to harvest, and then you click on uh, orders, and you go harvest. And you would just drag it over, and you'll notice nothing drags over yet because there's nothing that's ready to harvest. And that's basically it. You gotta just get some crops going and pay attention to them and try to make sure that they have enough food. 
The other thing that you need to do is be able to process the food. And in order to process the food, you need to create, um, it's not furniture, it's uh, production. In production, you have a, uh, let's say you've got a butcher's table, you have an electric stove and a fuel stove. You can start with a fuel stove, you can put it in an indoor, spi indoor space. Um, it may be a good idea to keep those in here somewhere. We'd want to put these down. This is a, a work area for them to process the food and then store the food. For right now, I'm just going to put it here. Then there's also refrigeration and being able to refrigerate and store your food that way. And that requires power and that's a whole nother tutorial. So we'll get to that later. But notice they've got a little, little area over here. So you've got this guy, fueled stove. And on the top right, when you click on it, you can go to bills and you can add a bill. And you can say, cook a simple meal. So basically take whatever food is around and do, do X amount of times of making the meal, or, and this is the way I like to do it, cook meals until you have X amount. So I'll make that 12 and leave it like that. And whoever our cook is should take whatever materials are available once you harvest the crops, or once you create an order to harvest and then you find bushes with berries, and that's a good first start, so find bushes with berries, and they can harvest the berries and turn those into meals. So this is kind of a beginning of the whole crop cooking thing. There's also animals, you can hunt the animals, you can then also build a, a butcher table to do the same thing with animals, and I'll show you that real fast. So there's the butcher's table, it's not, it's not been created yet but it would have a little bills thing here once it's up you click that and then you tell it to uh, butcher the animals and then you can take the meat to make meals over here you can also take the um, the skins and furs in order to build uh, with the tailoring tailoring bench either hand or electric you can then create clothing and you, that's very important for your settlers for when winter comes so super important stuff and that's how that works and I will see you guys later. Please like or subscribe to the channel if you want more of these types of videos and let me know in the comments how your RimWorld games are going. Um, stick around though, I'll do some more tutorials on this stuff coming up.